Hi there, sign of Cancer. This is Kim here with your reading for mid-February. So, trying to get this reading out. It is exactly mid-February. <laughs> cancer asking that your spirit guides and your angels join us as we get messages that's for your highest good of all. <clears throat> Always for Cancer to ascend and expand. Deep breath. Deep breath. I don't know. Okay. Cancer, cancer. What do we have? Oh my goodness. We might have the one. Oh my goodness. The one. The um <laughs> trace uh, uh trace dos or dose dose. Okay, never mind. You know what, Kim? Just stick to English. <laughs> The one, um, 10, 10, 10, you have found something. This something is the one. I don't know what the one means to you. Sometimes this is our significant other. Sometimes this is about you're the one. <laughs> you're the one. You're the one that this is really important about or important for because you're the one. All right. We'll get more messages as we go on. So that is the archetype card. That was from Kim Cran's Wild Unknown. Archetype deck. Archetype deck. The one. Okay. Messages, please, for Cancer. Mid-February. Anything is allowed. Of course, love is always here anyways. So every reading is really a love reading. Think about it. If you think about it. Ah, oh, Queen of Cups. And she looks like she's drinking too much. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Maybe overdoing it. So we got to be... Uh, balanced by what we do and uh, moderate the fun that we have because this Queen of Cups could have a chance to overdo it and therefore it might affect her health or in a not so great way. So temperance here is um, making a balance of a situation that, you know, like I say, it looks a little bit like somebody's um, indulging a little too much. <laughs> The receiving is off balance here. Knight of Pentacle energy. Five of Wands crossing it. Nine of Wands. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Six of Wands in the upright. Nice. Ace of Wands upright. Queen of Pentacle energy. This is a good energy. Ace of Swords energy in the reverse in the environment. And two of pentacles in the reverse. So something's a little off balance in the environment. Um, but then we have three of cups, guys. You have basically the... So if you are out celebrating, I think it's just a big sign to be careful when you're celebrating that you're not over-celebrating. For your outcome and the now moment, you have victory cards. The three of cups is getting together, celebrating... Um, abundance achievement um this is public recognition respect honor merit job well done everybody lifting you up this may be the get together the party so getting back together making really great new memories too um ace of swords in the reverse here is making me feel like there's something about the six of wands that we just don't know quite yet there's something in the present moment that's not clear. We need some more information. We assume we need some more light to be shown. Okay, so I have challenged people um, kind of bickering here. It doesn't look nice. I mean, it looks like people are get, actually getting hurt. And maybe it's the words that people are spitting out. If, if you're around somebody that's arguing with you, there's something about the words hurting here. And um, at the end of the day, it's like even if you won the argument, you're holding up the pinnacle with, look, there's no nothing around for you to celebrate it because of the way that it was got because of this arguing and not getting along. All right, 
So it picks up. It picks up. Here is the um, here's the action. Here's your nine of wands. This is your action. This is like after you've gotten good news to proceed forward. It may have been a little bit of a struggle, but you keep going. So you are persistent. I think you're bringing in the traits and the characteristics of this Knight of Pentacles in reverse of uh, dependability, reliability, stability, uh, money. In the past energy, somebody tried to come back. Uh, because it's the Eight of Cups energy. So, this may be somebody that you're arguing with here. Somebody from the past. Ace of Wands is upright for your future. So, not only do you have a new beginning and something really passionate that you're going to be passionate about, or a person you're going to be passionate about, but you have getting together and celebrating this abundance with friends, too. Brand new beginnings. Brand new beginnings with someone that might be a brand new relationship with someone. The Queen of Pentacles, upright. Upright has to do with um, you having things just the way that you want them. And, and liking things just the way that, that you have them. Like, don't change... Don't change what I got going on because I got the one going on here. I've got the, um, I've got what it takes. So you know that and you know that this information's here, but be careful with how you get or obtain your information. As you see that guy's hand is on the blade and he could get cut. Be careful with the words because they may come back and hurt us because, you know, everything we do to somebody else is we're doing it to ourselves. So um, that's why it's like, ah, I wouldn't be real mean to somebody else or judgmental to somebody else because in life it, it always comes back. It always comes back. That's just how life is. There's always a balance and something here, two of pentacles feels off balance with it in the reverse, right? Now, I don't know. <laughs> This guy could be like, well, I'm just playing around doing handstands and um, I don't know where the ball is. So that's maybe, maybe it's the attention. Okay. Maybe it's the attention. Um, with two of pentacles, it's really important to have your eye uh, on your moment to moment, like what you're doing moment to moment. So that's in the hope or fear. So the fear is that something's going to be just too heavy for you. You're not grasping at straws. When these two hands come together here, I feel like uh, in the future energy, I don't know, you probably already feel it. This is a really successful, possibly business, possibly home business. I'm picking up a lot of things, but what I'm mainly picking up is that the arguing or the name calling or the shaming Or, or getting information in a not so great way is not going to help either a person or, or you. It depends on if you're that person. So let's get some clarifying cards. I know it's a pretty good spread. Um, I would take it. It's my celebration. Celebration. So, okay. So maybe it's like the contrast between healthy competition and competition. All right, Cancer, what is this past Eight of Cups energy? This is Piscean energy. What is that about? It's a wish granted. So somebody came back. You wanted them to come back. It was a wish granted. It was going towards your Nine of Cups. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's going towards your Nine of Cups. Um, your wish granted, your complete contentment, fulfillment, right? Contentment, fulfillment. You're possibly the one. It's either this person who came back or here in the future is somebody that you're yet to meet. It's going to be different for everybody. Some of you, the Ace of Wands is going to be a passion project. <clears throat> More information is needed. That feels like why somebody's arguing. It's because there's not enough information to shed light on what's going on. <clears throat> All right, so not ever giving up, Nine of Wands. 
taking action after you get some good news. What else with this Knight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Five of Wands? The Moon in reverse and the Knight of Wands. And the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the way that I like to see it. In reverse. So after this stuff has happened, ugh. <sighs> okay. So somebody gets left out in the cold. Somebody comes back. In the past, they get out of feeling left out. So they're included again, right? But there's still some things that somebody, you feel like somebody's done that are hidden and something's been revealed about something somebody's done. More than likely a Sagittarius because the Knight of Wands and the Nine of Wands are Sagittarius energy. The moon here, uh, something's going to be revealed that may cause some people to get upset. But it's necessary to move forward. That's crazy. It's necessary for you to meet, move forward. Um, this may be somebody who comes in and out, in and out of your life. I don't think there's somebody who's unreliable. I think maybe this Knight of Pentacles might be somebody who is an unreliable person. And it, into you, it could be a Virgo. Sometimes Aries is associated with that. Sometimes. So, um... You know, something um, that was revealed caused people to get upset. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Well, we'll find out what you're going to do. Um, you keep things the way that you like them. I know that much because the Queen of Pentacles here, uh, Capricorn Energy, this is the energy you're in. This is the boss lady. Like, she's she's got the stuff at home. She maybe has a home business. She's really good with receiving receiving money because it's divine feminine and um, has to do with pentacles. Queen of Pentacles with the King of Swords in the reverse. You may be dealing with a person that uses their intellect to kind of hurt you, put you down, or um, maybe it's you. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just, you know, energy can go back and forth, but I was clarifying the Queen of Pentacles, and then I got the King of Swords in the reverse. So this could be Aquarius energy, but it could be an energy of feeling a little out of control, like we're not in control of a situation. It may be something to do with authority or who's in, who has the authority or power over possibly like what you're doing over you and, and you feel in control or you feel out of control. Or there's an issue with authority and you just need somebody who's an expert to give you wise counsel represented by that Ace of Swords in the reverse. And then there you, you would have your information that you need for a win. So Ace of Swords in the reverse. Ace of Swords in the reverse. The Hermit. I feel like it's crossing it. So some of this information you already have within you, more than likely all of the information you already you have within you um i feel like there may have been something here that happened recently about wishing you didn't put so much trust in somebody um and listen to your intuition so your intuition might have been telling you something about this one um that we might have not listened to so this is definitely going inside and digging out and finding that information that you need unpacking it and making sense of it Ace of Wands here. Um, Ace of Wands. So you are your own wise counsel is pretty much the message with the Hermit and with the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. Look, it's tying the information that you need to the Hermit, to the High Priestess, to the Moon in reverse. Things being revealed to you regarding talents, regarding ability, and also, intuition is pretty good right now. You really want to be using it. And there's something that's like, oh, I could kick myself. You know what I mean? But don't do that. Don't do that. There are times where we can't always control what's around us. And so it's what, can you grant me the serenity to accept things that we cannot change, right? With loving grace. Um, and you're blessed. And you're blessed, Cancer. So, uh... What, what you'll be inspired by, I don't know. That's going to be individual. 
Who's going to inspire you? Yourself. How are you going to know that you're inspired? Because yourself will know. Your intuition. Use it. Use it or lose it. It's a muscle. Fear the devil. Oh, the devil. <laughs> oh, the fear of the devil. So our addictions, our vices, our issues that self-saboteur energy. Don't do that. Don't don't follow the doubts. Don't go back to any vices that were unhealthy for you. Because it's like once you're free of an unhealthy attachment or imbalance, it's so um it's too easy to have to repeat this the cycle over and over. It becomes a repeat, which is what I'm seeing with this two of pentacle. If something doesn't change. It becomes a repeat. And the Three of Cups, like I said, you're doing a lot of celebrating here. A lot of party going out. Be careful with drinking. Don't drink too much. Take good care of yourself. Um, okay, so let's clarify the Three of Cups and the Six of Wands up here. The Fool. Is the challenge... New? Oh, okay. The challenge is um, whatever this is... This energy of this person from the past, either we learn from a beginner's mind um, or we're having a hard time moving forward because this devil energy is reminding us and trying, to, trying I think, to sabotage something for us by saying, hey, this isn't reciprocal. This, That's not reciprocal. So it's just all about keep, keep everything in a balance. And also don't let anybody use you. You know, if you're doing something for them, make sure that your friendships are reciprocal here too. Because um, there might be something that we feel like withdrawing our energy from with the sun in reverse. And it might be that at one time we thought this was a wish granted that we thought this was what we wanted and then it just turned into now we want to kind of withdraw our energy. So that's what I've got for you, Cancer. I hope that resonated for you and um, I will have something out tomorrow probably for you. Let's go ahead and get a cryon card to wrap up your reading. Good reading though. I mean, just watch out with the drinking <laughs> or whatever um cryon says you carry light cryon is k-r-y-o-n in case you're wondering cryon oracle cards you carry light in this newly provided energy you're carrying so much light that your presence in the room won't allow darkness period Light is active, dark is passive. Darkness is defined by the absence of light. So since you really do carry light around, the darkness can't really be around you at all. Simply by walking around with the light, darkness recedes from you. It says, do not doubt that you carry the light. Let your light shine. This is just a metaphor so that you'll understand the reaction of other you it says you'll understand this is true when you start noticing the reaction others have to you when you walk into the room and there you go this you have it angel number message too let's get one of those five oh, change and ten ten so be patient with this wish granted maybe this hasn't come yet because there is a wish granted it says be patient about it um, five, I am adaptable. Flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, uh, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change. Be brave and bold in your endeavors. I am adaptable. And I am patient, 1010. Keep your thoughts positive and be patient as everything is working out for your highest good. Trust that your angels are working behind the scenes to help you. I am patient and divine timing. Sending you love and light. Bye, Cancer.